Hello, this is Chris Cresence. It's uh, Friday, May 21st, uh, 2021, and the time is 5.10 p.m. We're just gonna do a walk-in video in downtown Chicago. I'm currently on Michigan Avenue, so we're gonna start the video right now. There you go. This is Michigan Avenue in downtown Chicago. I'll let you see the traffic a little bit before I start walking. Beautiful, beautiful day today. It's about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. It's kind of warm and cloudy, but very, very comfortable. It's not really humid. So right on Michigan Avenue, we're gonna cross the street. And we're approaching the Ontario Street, Ontario and uh, Michigan in just a second. As you can see, there's a lot of people on the street, walking, driving, on the bus. Approaching Ohio Street, this is Ohio and Michigan.
and right now we're on Illinois Street and Michigan Avenue this is Illinois Street and Michigan Avenue This is the Realtor building, 430 North Michigan Avenue. Real beautiful architecture. And I'm, out, I'm right below the Tribune Tower. I'm gonna show it to you in just a second. I hope you can hear me because it's very noisy. This is the Tribune Tower, a Gothic style architecture. I'm gonna walk down and show you the Rigby building in just a second. Very noisy but very beautiful downtown. And this is the NBC Tower in Chicago right over there and this is the Wrigley building right here you can see the time is 5 15 p.m. This is 401 North Michigan Avenue. Right next to the Apple Store. This is the Apple Store right over there. And if you go from above and look down, the Apple Store is in the shape of an iPod. The roof there is in the shape of an iPad. You can't see it now, but you can see a little bit. All right, we're gonna go down this way and uh, and we're gonna cross the Chicago, not the Chicago, the um, Michigan Avenue Bridge. And the Chicago River is underneath. I'm gonna show you a little bit to see what I'm talking about. This is the Chicago River right here. A little bit more of the skyline. Chicago River. You can see the boats. Beautiful, beautiful day for boating on the river. And this is the founder of Chicago. This is the first person that arrived in Chicago, 1745. That's his name there, Jean Batista. He was from uh, Haiti, and he uh, he founded Chicago. He was the first one uh, in Chicago. And then over here, you can see different uh, buildings. That's the Trump Tower, one of the tallest buildings in Chicago. It's about a hundred stories tall. Right next to the Wrigley building, you can see the classic and the motor architecture together. Uh, 
All right, we're uh, we're on the we're on the Michigan Avenue Bridge, and here's the river again and the boats. Very, very noisy. I hope you can hear me. It's not very windy, but it's noisy. So I try to talk less in this video. Hopefully you can hear me. So we're on Michigan Avenue. And now we're approaching uh, Walker Drive. It's a beautiful view of the skyline over there above the Chicago River and look at the beautiful architecture over there in the, in the background from the 20s the brown building all the way and then this is the London house here beautiful beautiful architecture That's the name of the place, the London House. So here we are on Walker Drive and uh, Michigan Avenue. It's like 340 North on Michigan Avenue. And we're gonna cross the street now and keep walking on Michigan Avenue. A lot, a lot of people today. Beautiful, beautiful skyline. And now you can see a police supervisor on the horse here. Patrolling the street here. Beautiful, beautiful scene. He <laughs> said hello to us. I wave back. Beautiful, beautiful downtown Chicago. And you can see Chicago is open up for business. If you're watching this from around the country or around the world, come to Chicago, it's open for business. Everything is open, restaurants, bars everything it's almost i believe 70 percent now and pretty soon in about a month or so it will be 100 percent that's why you see a lot of people on the street we still got, got COVID, but a little bit better now because a lot of people are vaccinated and uh for CDC guidelines, you don't have to wear a mask on the outside if you are vaccinated. So I'm guessing all these people without masks are already vaccinated. I am also fully vaccinated, but I'm still wearing my mask. So we're on uh, Michigan Avenue. And uh, we're right in front of the Fox 32 TV station. I'm gonna show you the the logo right over there, and then here is the the tower over here. So we're gonna to try to cross the street. 
little bit uh a little bit this way and this is 200 north michigan avenue so here we are walking down on michigan avenue and lake street that's lake street and uh, michigan avenue and we just gonna walk uh south on michigan avenue and then you can see all the people walking and uh again it's cloudy but but comfortable warm but not very hot this is uh this is lake street lake in michigan Beautiful, beautiful day. It's uh, Friday, May 21st, 2021. Time is 5.30 p.m. Hopefully the music in the background won't interfere with the video. Because sometimes we get a copyright claim in the music, even if it's coming from the street. So there's a good possibility uh, the previous section of the video couple of minutes I may check out that that footage if the if the audio interferes with the video but don't worry it's gonna be a long video so it's only gonna be a couple of minutes if that happens all right so we're on uh, Michigan Avenue and Randolph more construction over here over modern I will say and uh, this is where the Chicago Cultural Center is. It used to be the Chicago Public Library here, and then they moved. So this is a remodeling or renovating of the Chicago Cultural Center. As you can see, it's an old building. There is a lot of uh, renovation. And this, this is Randolph. And we'll try to cross the street. All right. We'll go down this way. And uh, so here we are on uh, Michigan Avenue, walking south. I still hear the Michael Jackson music, so I may have to cut out that video footage. I don't know where I was coming from, but it appears to be dissipating now. There's more music around. People have their music uh, stereos in the car full blast. That's why you hear all this music. And again, um, if that interferes with the video, I will uh, either mute the audio or cut the footage out from the video so we won't have any problem from the music companies so here we are on uh, Michigan Avenue and uh, right now we're on Washington East Washington Street and Michigan Avenue and we're gonna go straight see what's going on So this is Washington. You can see a helicopter over there. Actually, we're gonna go this way on uh, Washington Street, which is uh, west on Washington Street. See what's going on I like this emergency staircases from the old buildings from the 20s look at this I get a little bit closer I show you a little bit more in detail so when there is a fire it's a fire escape 
there is a fire people just come down those staircases they can go all the way to the first floor look at this look at this that's from the 1920s during the Al Cabot area there's a plane also on top and this is Garland Street this is Garland Street right here and uh, we're on uh, Washington Street and then we're approaching Wabash where, that's where the, the jewelers are every people who sell jewelry is on this street Wabash and we may or may not see the Chicago elevated train I'll wait here a couple of minutes to see if it passes so we can get a good uh, good footage of the train if they come Those are the CTA uh, Chicago Transit Authority elevated tracks. So we're on uh, Wabash in Washington. No train at the moment, so don't worry, I filmed this before. That's the Trump Tower over there again. Go down this way. This is the area where the Blues Brothers movie was filmed underneath this, this tracks. All right, we're gonna cross. I don't see or hear any train coming. Uh, I see people on bicycles, people on the buses, people driving, people walking. The good thing about this city, they have lanes just for people on bicycles, as you can see. They can drive on these lanes with no, uh, no problem. No cars, no pedestrians. Uh, preventing them from riding the bicycles and it can be on both uh, on both sides of the street and this is a bus uh, bus shelter over here relatively new a few years ago they built this when they build the bike uh, lanes so you can see people waiting for their buses and then people on the bicycles beautiful beautiful day to ride a bicycle and right now we're on uh, State Street we're on State Street now like, like we, we have reached State in uh, in Washington and uh, We're gonna go down. Uh, we're gonna go down this way on uh, State Street, which is going uh, going north on State Street. I mentioned this before in another video that sometime in July and August, I guess every Sunday, those those two months, they kind of they're gonna close uh, State Street and made it just for pedestrians for those days, those Sundays, so they can celebrate and have a party with music, dancing, different events. So, I will uh, document it with my video camera. And you can see a lot of American flags here. It's probably for the coming holiday in a couple of weeks, uh, Memorial, Memorial holiday. That's probably why all the flags are here. 
And uh, this is Macy's, the Macy's department store here. So we're right on uh, this well-known street, State Street, where all the department stores are, which is parallel to Michigan Avenue that we came earlier, another well-known street. So this is uh, State and Randolph, State and Randolph. And uh, and this is the theater district. You can see the theater over there, Ned Lander. Ned Lander Theater. And this is State Street. That's the Chicago uh, marquee of the Chicago Theater over there. Beautiful, beautiful day for a walk. This is the famous Chicago Theater. Very, very noisy as you can hear people having music in their cars. That's where you hear all this, uh, this noise. A little bit quieter now. And these are the ABC7 Chicago Studios here, television studios. But I want to show you this beautiful, beautiful alley over here. called Couch Place, James Netherland Way. That connects, I guess, to the theater that I just showed you earlier. So those are the, the fire escape uh, exits of this building as well. Beautiful, beautiful area here. And then we're gonna go north on State Street. Hear more music. I'm gonna try to talk over the music so but you can see the motorcycle there. So not only not only in the cars but they got the music in the on the motorcycles. Again hopefully it does not interfere with my video. But you saw the motorcycles there. We'll wait a little bit before we walk further so they can they can go out of the picture and then this is the elevator train you can hear it right on top this is stage street more and more music That car sounded like a motorcycle. So, really, really noisy. So I'm just gonna post the video when it's ready and uh, hope for the best. And uh, hopefully you get to see and hear uh, 
what I uh, what I recorded. If not, I will edit the video and cut the music out. Now you got people yelling as well. I guess the good weather brings the good out of everybody. So we're on State Street now and approaching uh, Walker Drive. And we're going to try to uh, show you also the river and the river walk here in a second. This is Walker Drive. Okay, it looks like we got 10 seconds to cross the street. Try to speed up a little bit to pace my pace here. This is Walker Drive. And this is the Chicago River Walk. Let's go downstairs and see what's going on. Let's see if we can go down from here. Again, this is Chris Cruzans. It's Friday, May 21st, 2021. And we're in downtown Chicago. It's about 5.45 p.m. right now. We've been recording for the last 31 minutes. And we're gonna go down this way. And then we're just gonna make a ride. There's more music playing over here. So we'll go down this way. I like this sign. Please keep your social distance. Six feet. All right. So this is the river. A lot of people are on the river today. And this is the river walk. So we're walking on the river walk and get to see all these people walking, having a good time. Boats, that's the Wabash Avenue bridge over there. As you can see, Chicago is full of bridges underneath the Chicago River. Like little canals, just like uh, some European cities have. So here you go, that's the Wabash Avenue bridge right over there, which is on on top of the uh, Wapash Avenue and then we're gonna walk this way that's the Wrigley building over there and that's the Tribune the Tribune Tower right behind it and this is the Tron Tower which if I'm not mistaken it may be the tallest building in Chicago at the moment and uh, and this is the river. Beautiful sounds of the river, you can hear it. And this is the Marina Twin Towers. You may recognize them from a lot of movies from the 70s, especially police movies. And uh, So we're gonna watch. We'll walk down this way. Yes, correct. Beautiful, beautiful day. A lot of people are walking on the river walk. So let's just walk on the river walk here. And this is the Chicago Brew House. As you can see all the bars. All the bars and restaurants are open for business with near full or full capacity. <laughs> so here we are on the Chicago River Walk. Walking this way walking east and as you can see the, the shape of the bridge underneath um, amazing architecture look at this 
This is the Wapash Avenue bridge on today. And by the way, these bridges open up when you have uh, tall ships coming through, they open up in, in half so they can let the ships go. And then as you can see there is like a street on top with vehicles. And this is O'Brien's Riverwalk Cafe. Another, another place that opened up. See a small boat over there. So it looks like uh, people are having a good time, enjoying themselves in this nice warm afternoon, evening. It's almost 6 p.m. It's still daytime. It doesn't get dark now until about 8 o'clock. But it's cloudy, but it, it's okay though. Know, the, the footage, the camera is still capturing the moment here. This is Marketplace. More buildings, high rises here. Apartment buildings. Beautiful architecture over there. That's the. Chicago Tribune Tower over there, Gothic style. And this is the 401 North Michigan Avenue building we saw earlier. And that's the Michigan Avenue Bridge that we walked, we walked, uh, we walked earlier. So I get marketplaces, this area that has all the, all the shops that are not open yet. That's what it's called, marketplace. So let's just walk a little bit this way. And actually, uh, yeah, let's go down. This is another uh, establishment. I don't see the name of it. Because huh? I wanted to show you the name of the place. Beat, Beat Kitchen on the Riverwalk. Oh, here it is. McCormick, McCormick uh, Bridge House on the Riverwalk. That's the name of the place. More music playing there. Hopefully it won't interfere with our video. And more people walking, more boats. And this is the Michigan Avenue Bridge. As you can see, the cars going by. Look at, take a look at this. Look and listen to the cars. So we're just going to go back on the street. It's another view of the Michigan Avenue Disabled Bridge. Which is a double bridge, double deck bridge. So on the top is Michigan Avenue Bridge. And at the bottom is the Disabled Bridge. In honor of the... The... The gentleman I showed you earlier, he statue. him. All right, let's go back upstairs. Ticket office. For cruise lines. The Chicago architecture of our foundation. Thanks to you for visiting the river walk here. So let's go up the stairs. Uh, the bridge I was telling you the one underneath the Michigan Avenue bridge is a whole different street so let's go back upstairs very noisy but very beautiful Chicago today 
there's another view of the skyline so let's go back upstairs so we're back on Michigan Avenue now and we're gonna go go back north on Michigan Avenue but we're gonna use the we're gonna cross the street over there when we get a chance It looked like they closed, closed the street there, I don't know why. So the police are there, blocking the street. No idea why this is happening. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna cross the street again, this way and then we'll go that way. And then we'll go back on Michigan Avenue. The same way we came in the beginning, but going going uh, going north this time from the other side of the street, so you can see the the view from there. All right, let's close the street. So no car is going that way. No idea, but we still got pedestrians going. So. Looks like we're clear to walk this way. This is Michigan Avenue. There must be a reason the street is closed here, but we don't really care, we're just gonna walk back the way we came from because it's, it's allowed. Just waiting for the light. in the street and then we're gonna go uh, we're gonna go north north on Michigan Avenue Crossing the street going north on uh, Michigan Avenue from Walker. As you can see, as you saw the police blocked off the street here. No idea why, but we're gonna go. We're gonna go north. North on Michigan Avenue. And I'm going to show you the beautiful view of the river from up here. We'll get a little bit to the middle of the bridge and I'll turn to my left and uh, and show you the, the view. All right, here it is. Look at this beautiful view. There is the people on the boats. And then here is the view. This is the skyline. So let's go down, uh, down this way. Very noisy, noisy day. I hope you can hear me. A lot of music in the cars. Helicopters above. And uh, so now we're going north. On Michigan Avenue. We came this way uh, earlier when we started the video, but we were on the other side of the street. We were going south, and now we're going north. So, 
This is uh, Michigan Avenue. We're underneath the Wrigley Building. And then we're going uh, north on Michigan Avenue. Going back this way. Beautiful, beautiful downtown Chicago. We're back on Michigan Avenue where we started, but on the other side of the street. And you can hear also uh, helicopters again. Going north on Michigan Avenue. Hopefully we don't have to edit the video and take the audio out for the music, but be prepared just in case. This is a beautiful view of uh, Michigan Avenue and you can see in the background there all the way in the back the John Hancock Center which is about 110 stories tall. That's the Alerta Hotel over there. It's the Hotel Continental here. You got a lot of uh, hotels and over there underneath on the first floor it's a little bit far from here to see it's the Michael Jordan Steakhouse very very famous restaurant it belongs to Michael Jordan and uh, all right we're just gonna go keep going north beautiful beautiful day it's very warm it's uh, so somewhere between 80 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit very unusual for May the usual uh, the normal temperature is 70 75 degrees and it's already 10 degrees above that the good thing uh, I don't believe it's very humid but it's beautiful it's a beautiful beautiful day it's cloudy not very not sunny but it's still daytime so we can see very well and the camera works very well and uh, in these conditions and this is the Marriott Hotel right here so we're about 500 north Michigan Avenue and we keep going north. Look at all the hotels over there. And this is Ohio Street at Michigan Avenue, so Ohio and Michigan. That's the name of the two streets. And the main street we're on is Michigan. And the other street here is Ohio. It's Ohio Street, so we're gonna cross the street in just a minute, but I'm just gonna show you Ohio Street and all the surrounding uh, buildings here. So we got the green light here. We're, uh, we're crossing the street. By the way, the music you hear is by Eric Greeno. He's a well-known pianist. That he's on that corner there playing the piano. You can hear it. I'll show it to you in a minute. I film him uh, at least five times. So if you go to my uh, 
YouTube channel, I just type the word Eric Green up and you can see the, his performances. Eric with a K and Green up. There he is right over there. He's not playing at the moment, he's just there. But the music you heard earlier in the beginning, that's where the music was coming from. So right now we're on Ontario Street, Michigan and Ontario Street, and we're going north, north on Michigan. It's nice to see people out on the street after a year, a year and a half being, uh, being at home, not able to come out. Now they're all happy to be outside. Not just uh, people walking, but people driving. And they don't have to worry about COVID anymore. It's all a little bit under control because a lot of people are vaccinated. All right, we're crossing the street on uh, Michigan Avenue and Ontario Street. And we're still going north. So I'm gonna take you from the sidewalk and show you the, the people walking here. Beautiful sight to see people walking. Some people wear a mask, some some are not. Technically, if you're vac fully vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask anymore when you're outdoors. According to the CDC, federal CDC guidelines from the federal government. So we're just gonna go this way. But this way on Michigan Avenue. Let's go down this way. We're crossing Michigan Avenue at Erie. This is Erie Street. I don't see the sign for the street, but I'm pretty sure it's Erie Street. Yeah, it's right behind me. It's uh, East Erie, E-R-I-E. -E. And then we're gonna go north north again on Michigan Avenue. Beautiful, beautiful sight. Just looking at the people walk, watching at the people walking. People enjoying their walk going shopping because the stores are open it looks like Chicago is coming back to normal <laughs> and this is Huron Street Michigan and Huron and I want to show you the Allerton Hotel well-known hotel in downtown Chicago, beautiful architecture. And now look at this. Look at this beautiful building. Allerton Hotel. So this is the full name of the hotel I just show you. It's called the Warnick Allerton Hotel Chicago.
now we are approaching Superior Street. This is Michigan and Superior Street. On North Michigan Avenue. So we're about 700 North Michigan Avenue. This is the Newman Marcus uh, building right here. So we just cross the street. So we're going north, north on Michigan. Nice to see all these people out, out and about, walking, enjoying themselves, wearing uh, shorts, t-shirts, because it's like summer. It's spring, it's supposed to be 70 degrees, and it's 85 right now at the moment. 85 degrees Fahrenheit. There's another beautiful hotel and uh, I want to show you right here. Look at this. All the way up in the sky. Probably 70 stories. So right now we're, uh, we're approaching uh, Chicago Avenue. So this is Chicago Avenue in Michigan. And this is the old water tower. And this is the water tower place. And this is the John Hawkins Center. So we're going to make this video a one hour video. It will take a couple of minutes if we don't take any footage out of the video because of the copyright music. We'll see how it goes. So we'll, we'll get the video rolling for another, another five minutes. And we're going uh, east on Chicago Avenue now. I want to show you this uh, Chicago Firehouse which is probably a hundred years old. And actually, I want to show you also the couple of buildings, high rises here. This is the water tower place, right on the right. And this is the John Conkon Center again, on the left side of the screen. Beautiful, beautiful engine airplane on top. All right. A few more minutes before we wrap up this video. I'm gonna show you the Chicago Firehouse that I was talking about, which is uh, part of the Chicago Fire Department, ambulance, medical and fire service. If I'm not mistaken, it's uh, Fire Engine 98 and uh, Ambulance 11. There it is right here. Look how beautiful this building is. Probably more than 100 years old. But here is the building right here. Old firehouse. Chicago Fire Department. I was right. Engine Company 98. Ambulance Company 11. Look at this beautiful firehouse. Right in the middle of downtown. In front of the high rises here. And then across the street we have the American Dental Association building. There it is. And then over there we have the Lewis Children's Hospital of Chicago. Beautiful, beautiful building right there. And then we have a park over here. This is Seneca Park. And then over there, another well-known institution, the MCA, the Museum of Contemporary Art, one of the very well-known Chicago museums. Uh, it's well-known worldwide. As always, good, uh, good modern exhibitions. So this is the outside of the, the museum here.
So we're gonna end the video right here in front of the Museum of Contemporary Art. This is Chris Cresents. Thank you for watching. If you like the videos, please subscribe to the my global YouTube channel. Just click subscribe on the link on the word subscribe below this video on YouTube. And uh, I hope you like the video. Thank you very much for watching.